Welcome back, fans of all things Disney. Today we went to the Disney Princess Half Marathon Weekend Expo so that I could get the bibs for the races that I will be running. I am running the 5K, the 10K, and the Half Marathon this weekend. So it's going to be an awful lot of running over three days, three very, very early mornings. Uh, so I wanted to treat myself with a little bit of merchandise as well. So I thought I would just go through and share with you what comes with your race registration and then share some of those extra items that I purchased. The first thing whenever you register for a Run Disney race is you, of course, you have to go and you have to pick up your bib and you have to wear this for your races. But one of the things that's really nice is the race photographers that are right on the course, they will take your photo, they will pick up the bib number, they will link your photos for you and then you can purchase them. So you don't have to worry about uh, not having a photo from the course, you'll just have to pay for them. If you are an annual pass holder or if you have some other package that uh, includes unlimited downloads, those are included as well. So this is our first year's annual pass holder, so we're very excited to be able to get all of our uh, race photos for free. And then, well, free in air quotes, we've paid plenty. And then um, in addition to the 5K bib, I also had to get the Fairy Tale Challenge bib. And that's the one that I will wear on Saturday and then also on Sunday because it's a 10K and the half marathon. So you have to do both of those races and I would wear this bib for both. Now, when you register, you also get a participant t-shirt. So this is the one, it's, I should have gotten a different size. I got an extra large because that's typical for me. I like them a little bit baggy, but um, this is just an adult extra large. So it's really, really big. Um, this is the 5K shirt, and the theme this year is Rapunzel for the 5K. So that's that's really quite cute. This will be a nice sleeping shirt or cleaning around the house shirt uh, once I start getting it a little bit dirty. And then for each of the other races, you also get a shirt, but these are more of the dry fit shirts by Champions. So they're a lot nicer quality. This is the one for the 10K, and Merida is the theme for that particular race. I absolutely love the mix of those colors. I wasn't sure if I would, but they're beautiful together. They're kind of unique together. The half marathon is themed after Snow White this year. And this shirt is gorgeous. I've run some of the other Run Disney races and I haven't really liked the color of the shirt, of the, the primary color of the shirt, even though the design might have been beautiful. But I love all of these this year. And then because I'm doing the 10K and the half marathon together, it is called the Fairy Tale Challenge. And that is the shirt that I received for that one. And of course, Cinderella is the theme for the Fairy Tale Challenge. Beautiful shirt. Now, when I picked up the bib, they also gave us a couple of freebies this year that I wasn't expecting. They gave us a nice little button to commemorate uh, the half marathon weekend, which I thought that was very nice. Then also, um, because of the half marathon or because of the challenge, I'm not sure which, they gave us these little bib clips, which I understand are quite popular. I'm just gonna use the safety pins because it's what I'm used to. Um, and I'll maybe play with those a little bit, see if I like them. And then we also got our free luggage tag, right with our registration, right with our packet pickup. And this is really beautiful because it goes with the theme of the half marathon. So I like that an awful lot. So that was it for the free stuff. Everything else I had to purchase myself, and I didn't purchase a lot because we are moving to Florida in July and we did just purchase our home. We'll be closing very soon. Uh, so we wanna save as much money as we can for that, but I did need a new armband for my cell phone so that I had access to not only my cell phone, but you know the room key, a little bit of cash, things like that when I'm running. I purchased the ornament for the, for the Christmas tree, each event I like to get an ornament for. This was a, quite expensive. It was $26.99 for one ornament, which is insane. But as a vacation club member and also an annual pass holder, you get the 20% discount. So it made it a little bit more reasonable. I mean, not much more reasonable. That's still kind of crazy for an ornament, but I needed to have that. And then, because I've recently started pin collecting, I went ahead and I purchased a pin to commemorate each of the races. This is the 5K pin, and again, that's a Rapunzel theme for the 5K. And then the 10K pin with Merida on it. 
the color theming is very much the same as with the shirts that I showed you. The half marathon with Snow White. And each of these pins was $14.99, so a little bit expensive, but they're beautiful and it's a lot harder to find them on eBay after the event and you'll spend a lot more. And this is the one for the fairy tale challenge. So we will add these to my pin binder when I get home to help me commemorate things. And then the last two items that I purchased, um, this one I just couldn't resist. It is the 10th anniversary of the Princess Half Marathon weekend and I just couldn't resist this. It's so silly and it's not like I need another figurine, but she is adorable. I couldn't help myself. She's got the little 10 year um, commemoration there, 10 years running and Minnie Mouse running in a princess dress with a crown and a wand. I mean, it, you just don't get cuter than that. So. She came home with us, and that was a $24.99, but again, 20% off. And then every one of the races that I run, I try to get a wine glass, and this is the design for the half marathon weekend. So this one is very fitting a wine glass to add to the collection. And then I actually forgot I purchased a, an event t-shirt myself because I liked the design of the, um, of the overall design for the weekend. So I went ahead and I purchased the event t-shirt for myself and I've actually been wearing it all day. We went to Hollywood Studios and, and things like that. So it's already been on a couple of rides with me. So that was it as far as the merchandise that we picked up at the expo. I will say that um, it was wonderful. I enjoyed the organization of the expo very much this year. Typically the lines are crazy long. Um, there's a lot of pushing and shoving, unfortunately, but I didn't experience that at all this year. My daughter and I arrived at about 10.50. Uh, we, we walked in, got into the queue for merchandise after taking you know, a couple of commemorative photos, and then we sat and waited for maybe 30 minutes before the line started moving. We had all the merchandise that we wanted purchased. My bibs picked up, did a little extra shopping, got my armband. Um, got the race shirts, and we were out of ESPN uh, Wide World of Sports, I want to say by 12.40, 12.45. So that, that was very well organized this year. Now I have a friend who was just there, and, and she didn't run into uh, quite as nice an experience as I did because the lines were very, very long at this point in the day. But uh, overall, my experience so far with Princess Half Marathon Weekend has been fabulous. I will do another uh, video to hopefully show you all four of the medals that I'm hoping to get this weekend. The weather is supposed to be not necessarily great as we're doing the running as it's supposed to be really hot, very humid. Um, but you know, the 5K and the 10K shouldn't be an issue. The half marathon, we're gonna wait and we're gonna see how things happen. And if I can pull off that half marathon and cross the finish line before those balloon ladies I get, not only the half marathon medal, but my challenge medal. And those are the two that I wanted the most. So hopefully the next time we do a video, you will see four brand new medals to add to the Run Disney Medal Collection. Until then, have a wonderful rest of the day.